Hey, it's Rachel from The Life Facilitator, and I'm going to do a flip through of January in my um, catch-all and my creative content planner. So let's get started. Um, I'm using a, um, this is a cover from Inkwell Press. Um, discs are also Inkwell Press discs. Um, and sorry about the glare. I don't think it will be so bad throughout the video. Okay, so to start, I have January from um, the um, uh, Wild Style Planner, um, really just to have a monthly, but I obviously am not using it very much. Um, I am, I have played around with this, um, this layout for the month, but mostly um, testing out some stickers and whatnot. So. Um, it really didn't have a function. It was more just sort of extra and then I didn't finish it. Um, so, um, I like, I love this layout. I mean, it's like such a great layout, but it is, um, there's something about the paper that this one's okay, I think. Um, but anyway, um, next up we have, um, my actual like catch all sort of more functional functional planner um, I'm in lights planner action inserts I started using these um, back in December so here's a look at December end of December first week of um, end of December into January um, January these are stamps from Coco Daisy and then most of the rest of this is Coco Daisy uh, yeah. Um, this week is um, some stickers from the planner spot and then um, mild liners. Um, this is the aesthetic studio um, and just kind of some other random stuff. Uh, <laughs> I, I was, I actually did a lot of stuff this week, but this is a really good example of a lot of it ended up in my either on my daily pages or on in my content planner. So, you know, there's weeks like this. And then this is last week. Um, and yeah, I went kind of old school. I went back to some older Happy Planner stickers. My goal for 2021 is really just to go back and use stuff up. And if I'm not using it to get rid of it, um, because, you know, there's no reason to hold on to stuff that you're not using. Haven't planned this week yet, um, but we'll do so promptly. Um, and then here's a notes section that I don't even think I have any notes in. Nope. <laughs> it's so funny. I always put a notes section in and then I never use it. Um, I have in the middle here, I have the perpetual calendar that came with the wild styled and I'm using this for work stuff. This is to help me plan out blog posts for the Coco Daisy blog. And then I have my more notes. And then I have my daily section. So I used a couple of daily pages from um, Julie, Plan to Create. I'll, I'll link her below. She did a custom uh, Happy Planner size and I absolutely love them. They're so great. So you can see like this was a week that I, I got a lot done, but I just I planned in my daily pages instead of in my main planner. And then this section starts my like work creative content section. So I'm using the biz babe undated dashboard layout currently. And then, um, here is the, what the month looked like. And then, um, I, I, I was originally going to do something here and then I ended up doing this instead. So I'm trying to have like a, a an actual mon monthly section where I can look through and like plan out things that I want to do and need to do for the month. And yeah, so this is sort of my like monthly section of work and content. I put a bunch of like work-ish stickers onto a removable sticker sheet so I could have them in, in my planner. And actually a lot of them were stamps that I stamped onto sticker paper. Um, and um, I also have put in, this is actually what I'll be using go going forward are um, 
Julie Plan to Create's monthly dated. Um, I love her monthly dated because Wednesday and Thursday are on the spine. And if I wanted to move Sunday over here, I could. Um, so I'm, I'm a big fan of this layout. It's really beautiful. And I printed on um, like 60 pound paper, partly because th these are the pages that are gonna be with my planner throughout. And so I, didn't, I wanted to put them on some thicker paper. All right, so this was actually the, was this the first? Yeah, first week of January using mostly um, Coco Daisy, um, oh my gosh, why am I blanking on the name? Not New Start, Fresh Start, New Start? Oh my gosh, anyway, the, the January kit. Um, and then I kind of goofed, well anyway, I decided to add for the next week, I added in a graph sheet instead of using the like pre-assigned Thing. and I actually really like this and I think I might continue to do this I also put a little pocket card here just for fun and then um, most of the, this is a pretty like minimal deco week I think a couple things from the biz babe sticker book and that was kind of it this week was from uh, retro hip mama's magazine and some of the printables from that and I loved it I thought it turned out so cute um, I love these little art starts. These are so fun. Um, and I print them on clear sticker paper. This is last week. Um, I wanted to go back and use a like pretty OG Happy Planner sticker book. And it's so funny because it was a sticker book I absolutely loved back in the day. And now I actually found I had like a kind of a hard time using it. Um, and so it's a good example of like, use your stuff while you enjoy it because you may not love it, you know, a year or two later. So um, I do, I like how this turned out. It was really pretty, but um, just interesting how your style changes. So then for the rest of the planner, all I have are the monthly. So I just have the monthly divider and I don't even have the full thing. I just have the monthly divider. And then I will just be using these um, inserts instead of the monthly pages from the happy planner because as you can see it's the Wednesday is here and it really this is something I've learned about myself I really need Wednesday and Thursday like aligned in my monthly and in my weekly pages um, and so I like that these are it just it helps my brain and so I have through April in here and so each month has just like the divider a notes page and then these plan to create pages. Um, so I'm going to get ready to take, um, put February in. I think I'll leave the January monthly in, but take out the pages and then I'll take um, these so the January stuff out as well. So I hope you enjoyed this look through my planner um, so far for 2021. Um, happy to be back in discs. I'll do another video talking about, I'll do, I'll do a flip through of my 2020 passion planner and why I've decided not to continue with it for 2021. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.